Avoid this big mistake when hiring a virtual assistant. Now, in the past we've done this, I see other people doing this all the time. Typically goes something like this, you don't plan ahead enough to hire, so things are freaking crazy, you've got way too much on your plate and you just go out and panic hire someone to come uh, and, and work for you. And, you know, maybe someone in the Philippines, for example. Um, the one thing that if I could go back to the very first hire that we made and do differently would be that I'd add one extra part to the process. So uh, the first time we hired, we just uh, posted a job online, did interviews, selected our favourite uh, person from the list of people and we did some personality profiling and then subject to that being the right thing, we went on and hired them. We didn't do any task-based testing and that is what I would go back and do differently because someone can talk the talk in an interview but actually can they walk the walk and so if I was going back again, we're doing it now and we hire people, set a task that is related to the role that they're going to be doing and just check their proficiency at actually doing that, uh, make it relevant to what it's going to be. So we're hiring someone at the moment who's going to be helping us uh, managing our CRM system, helping uh, uh, liaise with clients so we've got task-based tests around uh, you know using the CRM system that we use adding contacts uh, ensuring that the right kind of emails can be sent out um, that's got the right kind of feel and intelligence that we want um, for the people that we work with so who are you hiring for uh, and being specific about the role will help with this too what specific tasks do you want them to do and test that as part of the interview process so you might want to do an initial round of interviews select the ones that seem the most promising and take them through to some task-based testing um, before moving them on to the next stage in the process. So don't make the big mistake, don't hire too quickly, give yourself time to choose the right person, otherwise you'll end up with a bad hire and it will cost you a lot more time and pain than you're really wanting.